Airtable is a very powerful no-code tool that allows you to create all sorts of kinds of apps for your business. Airtable is a very awesome tool by itself and we use it a lot here at Automation Helpers. Now imagine being able to explore Airtable and connect it with other third-party services. That would open up a lot of new possibilities for you. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can generate your API key from your Airtable account to use it to connect Airtable with other services and build a lot of nice automations and integrations for your business. Hi, I'm Caio Calderari from AutomationHelpers.com. We help companies like yours get automated by using industry-leading tools to build portals, apps, integrations, and much more. Subscribe if you want to leverage tech to help your business grow as well. We are going to jump straight into Airtable. I'm going to show you how you can get your API key in a matter of minutes, okay? So let's do it together. I'm inside my Airtable account here. If you don't have one yet, it's very simple. Just go to Airtable.com, access the website and create your free account. Once you are inside your Airtable account, you're gonna click here under your account profile, go to account, access this page and here you're gonna see this section here called API. This information is showing up here because they will change the way the API keys work. You're gonna go to the developer hub and you're going to click this button here. Once you are inside your developer hub, you will see this page to create new API keys and tokens. You can click here to create a new token and it will show you this page. If you don't have any token yet, you will see nothing. If you have tokens, you will see the tokens you've created before. Now, since I have one here, I see this one, but I can create extra ones. You can create as many tokens you need and you can organize your tokens by connection with other services. So you can keep track of what token is being used where. You can also come straight to this section here, which is the personal access tokens. If you don't want to go to the API keys page, you can also copy this URL and store it somewhere. And you can come straight to this page in the future if you wanna get access to this page directly. Hey, if you need help building a project or if you wanna ask us any questions, we are here to assist. Visit our website at automationhelpers.com. We are offering free 30 minute consultation calls with our experts. I'm sure they will be able to help you with your project. So make sure to book your call today. The link's available under the description section down below. Now, let's create a new token. All we have to do is to click here, create new token, and it will ask us to give it a name. I'm going to call mine Automation Helpers Example. Make sure to add a name here that will be easy to remember in the future. Okay, the next step is to add scopes. The scopes will define what level of access this token will have, meaning you can select here if it will be able to read your Airtable records, if it will be able to write on your Airtable basis, and also do other things like read your base schema right on your base schema or even do some other advanced things like manage web hooks and other things as well. Basically here you have to define all the things you want to grant access to this token, meaning any application that will be using this token will be able to do all these things. Now in a common scenario I would select everything. So all you have to do is to keep adding each scope here until you've added all of them. Unless you have any other specification for this type of token, just go with all these options and add all the scopes because this will guarantee that this token will be able to do anything you want to do. Now, the next step is to define the axis. Here we can click add a base and it will give us some options as well. The first option means we are going to give access to all current and future bases in all current and future workspaces we have under our Airtable account. If we want to make it a little bit more specific and granular, we can select specific workspaces or even specific bases that live inside a specific workspace. Again, this is also going to be depending on the type of access token you need. Now, since I want to make sure this token 
has access to everything that is available now and in the future as well, I'm going to select this option here, all current and future bases in all current and future workspaces. So once I've selected the axis part, I have my name, the scopes, the axis, and that's all I have to do to generate a new personal access token. The next step is just to create this token and it will be visible for me. If you are enjoying this video, click the like button down below and also subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Okay, now pay attention to this step because it's very important. Once your token has been created, you will have to copy this and save it somewhere safe. You can use a password manager for that or any other service you prefer. You should save this because once you create the token for the first time, it won't be visible once you close this tab it will be gone. It will continue to exist, but it won't be visible for you anymore inside your Airtable account. So save it right now and save it somewhere safe because if anyone has access to this token, it means they will be able to access your Airtable information. So make sure you save it somewhere safe. After you close this window, it will be gone and you're going to go back to the personal access token management page okay so here you will see all the tokens you've created but then if you click on a specific token like this one i've just created all you can do is to basically manage the scopes or change the access level but you won't be able to visualize the token again okay so make sure to save it so you don't lose it. If you end up losing it, then just go back to your personal access tokens page and make sure you remove it and you'll be good to go. You can generate another one. Now, once you have your token in hand, it means now you can connect a table with other services. You can grab this token you just generated and then paste this information into these other services and automation tools to grant access to your Airtable account. Meaning this application like Zapier or Make or Relay, they will be able to access Airtable and get information from your Airtable bases. So for instance, if you want to use Airtable as a database for software, you can do this same process, get your token, go back to your software account and paste it there to use this Airtable account as your database source for software projects. And by the way, if you want to learn how to connect software and Airtable, there is a video tutorial here that I created just for you to learn how to do that. So make sure to check this video here on the channel as well. Now, I hope you've learned how to get your API token, your personal access token, under your Airtable account. There is much more content for you to keep learning about automation here on the channel. So make sure to watch this video next. Thanks for watching and let's automate your business.